Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Coaster. So I want you guys to be a part of this series and uh, I really appreciate your feedback and things like that. So I went through the comments and I've wrote down a bunch of your suggestions and things, including some of the top comments, some of the things you guys obviously must have agreed on if you're all upvoting it and things. So uh, first of all, what I got here guys is auto tunnels. Apparently you can make your roller coaster make auto tunnels in this game. I didn't know that. Kind of a helpful thing to know. So I'm going to try and edit this roller coaster here and uh, and see how the auto tunnels actually works. You, ha you apparently have to just, um, you know, turn it on and then you can uh, just point your roller coaster wherever you want and it'll deform the terrain the way you want it to based on where your roller coaster is going. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, so let's uh, let's close the ride down and let's edit the track. So if I take this piece right here and I just delete it and this one as well and this one and then I turn on auto tunnel... Okay, look at that, look at this! It's kind of nice, so now you can just point it down, and then you built. And then it'll just automatically tunnel into the ground. How nice is that? So there's one thing that would have really helped me last time, guys, because obviously I made my own tunnel, and that's fine. I got some fire in there and stuff. I think it's kind of cool. Whatever, we'll leave it as it is. But uh, for future coasters, because I obviously want to make more coasters, for future coasters, we will use auto tunnel. So let's undo all that. Let's let's put the roller coaster back the way it was. Second thing I got written here, guys, is water in the tunnel. People have been asking, can you put water in the tunnel and still have the flames and all and have the roller coaster go in there? And somebody actually replied and said that you could. So let's give that a try. Let's see what happens when you put water in the tunnel. So it's telling me that I'm not allowed to put water here, guys. That's kind of unfortunate. I don't know if it's because of the fact that there's a roller coaster there. Maybe you can't just engulf a roller coaster in water. But what if you take water and then try and put a roller coaster in it? Maybe that's a different story. Let's edit the track again, bring it over here, and stick it in the pond. Okay, here's the roller coaster, guys. When I turn auto tunnel on, it goes red. So I'm guessing I'm not allowed to do that. I'm guessing I'm not allowed to build an auto tunnel into the water. That's kind of sad. I have a bunch of people telling me they want to see the roller coaster come over here by the tower. By the way, this lady is still in there. How does she feel at the moment? Oh, she's still pretty happy. Uh, that, that, that's really good. I'm happy for her. I thought she was going to be a little bit upset, but no. All right, so it doesn't seem like you're allowed to build roller coasters right into the water, but I mean, you could, you could have some, uh, some ground coming up go into the ground, like a little island coming out of the water, go in through there, something like that. I did kind of want to do that, guys. I did kind of want to do something where a roller coaster comes out here. I was thinking maybe like an underground roller coaster, you know? Like all of it is underground, so you can't see what the hell is going on. It's just moving around, and then it comes up out of the water, around the tentacles, and you can see the princess. Ah! Help me! I'm stuck in a castle! And then you go back down again. I thought that'd be kind of cool, but I don't know. It might not be possible with this whole, you're not allowed to build roller coasters in water, okay? <sighs> Who made this game? Bunch of party poopers. Oh, hey, look at this, guys. There's actually a uh, tunnel radius thing as well. You can uh, you can select how big you want your tunnels to be when the auto tunnel is on. These are good things to know, okay? I'm learning some things. That's good. Ooh, all right. I see what's going on here, guys. I found it something pretty important. You see this little thing right here? You see this little arrow? You can move that arrow around the track, and you'll select even more of the track. So I can go like this, bring it all the way down here. Okay, and then I can smooth it all out. Just hit the smooth all button, and it'll smooth out. Ah, I like that. And then you can actually take it, you can take this full section of track. By the way, this is really awesome. Okay, I'm just going to point that out. Another really great feature in this game. You can select a whole bunch of track at once, and you can smooth it. So now, you can actually uh, turn the track as you please. Not too much, though, because you can't, uh, you can't turn it once it gets up to the station. But there you go. I turned it a little bit, and if I want to, uh, if I want to bring it back now, I can bring it a bit further back from the station, and I'm assuming I can turn it a little bit more. There you go, I can. So I'll turn it, and stop, stop doing that. Now I'll bring it back a little further, yeah, a little further, there you go, and then I'll turn it a little bit more. Okay, because, because it seems like it can't turn too much because of the whole station thing, but that's better than it was. There's a little bit of a turn right now, guys. It's a little bit smoother, uh, and I'm going to have to do the same thing over here. So if I click on this part of the track, um... I think as far as back as it can... Hey, hang on. Stop. Don't do that. Uh, I think as far back as it can go is right up to the loop. And then I'm going to drag this one over here a little bit. Because look how ugly that is. That is that is some ugly shit, man. Let's let's make that better. Let's smooth it. Oh, baby. Smooth it right out. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. That's cool. I'm going to smooth out some more of the track, okay? Just, just bear with me here. Okay. So now, guys, it's a lot smoother. It's a lot better, I think. I'm not really sure, but uh, hopefully the people on the ride 
feel it's a little bit better because you know obviously a lot of people were throwing up. I do have a uh, I do have a solution for that, guys, which I'm gonna try in a second. But uh, I just need to smooth out possibly a couple more things. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking smooth. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. Let's see if it changed at all because the results right now. Oh, never mind. There's no results because we got to do it over again. Was it like 7.5 last time on the barf meter? That is a really barfy ride, guys. So like I said, I have a solution, but let's try it out. Let's uh, let's test the roller coaster first and see how it goes. Okay, up at the top, goes down, does a bunch of crazy shit. I like that. Comes back again and stops. So now the results say that the fear is 7.3, nausea 6.2, excitement 7.1. So it's scary, it's exciting, but it makes you a little bit sick. I don't know the best way to fix that, guys. What I am gonna do, I think, is slow it down a little bit, okay? It is a pretty fast roller coaster right now, and I thought it'd be cool if instead of having an ugly looking mountain like this, we made a more, you know, realistic looking mountain with like a snow capped top on it, you know? You know how mountains have snow on the top? Let's do that, okay? It doesn't need to be realistic. Uh, I know I just said it should be like a real looking mountain, but um, there might not be snow at the top of this mountain, but I'm gonna put snow up there, I think, so it looks a little bit more mountainy. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna delete some of this roller coaster again. Okay, I'm sorry, but it's it it has to go. Goodbye, roller coaster. I'll 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 fix you later. This is really freaking difficult, guys. I don't know how to make a mountain be pointy at the top without making it look ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this tool. Bring it out. Oh my god, there's a giant dick coming out of my mountain. I don't want this to be Dick Mountain, okay? It's not gonna be Dick Mountain. I'm going to fix this. Alright, so now guys, the mountain has snow on the top. It looks a bit more mountainy, in my opinion. You could disagree with me. That's fine. That's cool. Go ahead and disagree in the comments. That's your right, I guess. <laughs> and now guys, I'm gonna try and put a little tunnel inside the mountain. And as I said, I want to slow down the roller coaster a little bit. I think this is a good way to do it, especially with the auto tunnel tool. Okay, it might not be that difficult now. So if I turn auto tunnel on and I make it so it goes inside the mountain now, Good. So let's go ahead and build that. Aha! Looking good. So we just gotta stick it out the other side. I want it to be, uh, you know, kind of flat here. Can you do that? Can you make it flat for me? There we go. And I don't think this needs to be stationed anymore. So we turn off the station and put on the standard basic track. Alright. And you put it out the other side. And then, can you auto-complete it? Auto-complete! Go! Oh, Jesus, what did you do? Come back! I don't like this! Whatever you did, stop! There you go. Now the auto. Co oh Jesus! What is what is happening here? Why are you Why are you doing that? Why Why do you look like this? Shit! Okay, so turns out, guys, I need to move it a little bit because it's not quite going down the way I want it to. I don't, I think that'd be like even worse. I don't I don't want to make it even worse. Go back. All right, this is a lot better. Just needs a few adjustments. I got the thing built, so I should be able to adjust it without too much of an issue, right? Just move it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, sure. That might have worked. Damn it, the camera keeps going everywhere, man! Turn off the whole attach and rotate thing! How about just a free camera? Can I have that? Thank you. Okay, I did it. And now, for some reason, guys, the, uh, the auto tunnel grid is staying on. I don't know how to get rid of it, man! I turned off auto tunnel, but it didn't make a difference. So, at this moment, we're just gonna have to keep that on. See? I ain't doing nothing. Maybe if I click on a different ride? No? That doesn't matter? Alright then. Well, fine, we'll just look at this really ugly grid thingy going on here for the auto tunnel. Hooray! Things I don't want! Okay, I'm gonna do a quick test of this roller coaster. Hello, Mr. Guy, thank you. Two janitors over there probably doing their job cleaning up all that vomit from this coaster so far. Might be a little bit less now, guys. So we can actually see where all the excitement and fear is happening, okay? We should probably pay attention to that because I wanna know what's making people sick. I didn't realize that was the thing. I didn't pay close attention to this little thingamabob over here. So, zero nausea so far, guys. People are getting a little bit scared. Oh, the fear! It's coming! It's coming! The excitement is going down, but the fear is going up. And then, oh, shit. Okay. No nausea yet. Lots of excitement. Lots of fear. The nausea starts here. Oh, Jesus. That, that, that is some really nausea-inducing shit right there. Sorry, guys! Uh, okay, not so bad, not so bad, I like that, I like that. It's too fast around the other one, guys, that's what it is, okay? There is quite a bit of nausea on this place, but, um, yeah, it seems like most of it is at the first little bank, because you go so fast, man. You need to slow it down a little bit. The brakes didn't even seem to matter that much, guys, but they're there now, okay? Huh, what are we gonna do? Perhaps we could make the ride a little bit, a little bit lower on the mountain? You know what? To hell with it. It's just, it's just gonna be a vomit-inducing ride, guys. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I do, but I don't wanna do it, okay? 
Uh, how do you rename the rides? Because uh, one of the top comments was a suggestion for the name of this ride, and I'm going to use it because apparently people want that to be the name. Okay, I just spent a ridiculously long time trying to rename this roller coaster, guys, and I can't do it. Apparently, it's not even an option yet. I didn't know that. I was searching through the forums, trying to find an answer. Finally, I did, and it was not the one I was hoping for. So, um, I accidentally moved the roller coaster at some point, so that needs to be fixed now. Let me put the queue back on, and we'll forget about this roller coaster for a while, okay? It's good enough. And now, while I wait for people to ride my roller coaster, I'm gonna go check on the princess, see how she's doing. Hey, doing, princess? She's really happy. I'm over the moon with this job! This job is great! How? How is this job great? You have been up there for a very long time, woman. Like, in terms of game time, you have been there for months. And she's still like... What? the hell is wrong with this woman? There are a number of things that I'm definitely gonna be changing in this park, guys, and that includes this ugly ass queue line. Okay, it is gross. Is this open? This thing is open 100%, I'm not going on a coaster until it's been tested, okay. Nobody wants to go on an untested roller coaster. Bunch of pansies, here it goes, hold your horses. All right, the ride has been tested now, guys. Turns out that the ride is not as bad as it was before. 5.8, 5.5, 3.9, so it's a little bit more, uh, I, I, a little bit less nauseating, which is nice, okay? So I guess it did make a difference that I put it up there. Either that or the testing is wrong, but you don't really want testing to be wrong because that's supposed to be something that keeps you alive and stops you from seriously getting hurt. Look at this, so many people are going on the ride now! I guess I made a good decision, guys, because I don't think there was this many people going on the ride before. Hot damn, and look at this, guys, I have, I have 10 grand now. Holy shit, my monthly profits are up to 2,000 bucks. I think it's time to build some more stuff, okay? I'm not really gonna fiddle too much with the location here. I think I'm just gonna build a bunch of stuff over here. A few more of these, like, you know, simple rides that you just plop down and people ride them. What the hell is going on over here? Is this thing closed? Oh, well, you should probably open that up, okay? Because I need to make money. I would really like to know what people want to see in the park. I'm not sure if I can see that. This guy's... Doing okay, I guess. Not really. Everybody's kind of hungry and thirsty and needs to use the toilet. There's a toilet over here at the exit, guys. Not that I want you to leave my park after you use it, but uh, it's there. Okay, I'll build another toilet somewhere else. Don't worry. I would love for this area here to be like a castle type of area, and I did download a bunch of blueprints and things, guys, so I can build a few castle-like buildings. Like, look at this one. Huh? How's that? That's not really a castle-like building, but it does look pretty damn cool. Okay, it's a street corner thingy. I have a bunch of these, okay? They're all over the Steam Workshop. I downloaded a castle bathroom, castle water closet. Look at this thing, huh? So I'm gonna put this over here. It doesn't even look bad. It just looks like a little piece of scenery. You know what I really want in this game, guys? That's not in the game yet, um, as far as I know anyway. Go-karts. Go-karts are one of my favorite things in Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm not really sure why. It was just fun watching everybody zoom around on them. And you could actually name certain people. Uh, you could rename them to different names, like uh, Damon Hill was one of them. Mr. Bean was one of them. Depending on what you name them, they'll either be faster or slower when they ride the go-karts. And I think that's hilarious. So hopefully they do add some of those in. Now I gotta try and find something to put here, guys. I don't even know. Look, this one's called Insanity. Doesn't really look that insane. It's kind of small. This one's huge. This one's pretty big. Maybe a small ride would be okay. Look at the line for this ride, guys. I am so stoked right now. Pretty sure last time there was a line, but it was a pretty small line. This shows you that this roller coaster is actually in high demand. What am I gonna do when a roller coaster is in high demand, I wonder? Why does it keep clicking on the freaking hammer swing? What am I gonna do when a roller coaster is in high demand? I am gonna increase that price. It's gonna be $11 now, bitches. Okay, I also need to uh, need to put in some more scenery, guys. I'll do that later. That's not important enough for a video. I'll do that in my spare time, okay? Just like I did with all this scenery over here. Yeah, people actually like the, the scenery in this one, I believe. You know, nobody is saying anything too crazy about it. At least they're not saying it sucks. Oh, hang on a second. So much room to walk around. Nope. Hammer Swing 2 is really good value. Okay, forget it. Don't even talk about the scenery. Not like it's even important. It's not like I put my blood, sweat, and tears into that stuff. Well, I mean, a few people are riding the Insanity, guys, and I, I mean a few. It's like several people. Wow. I wanted to try something, guys, so I think I'm going to try it now. It's going to take a little bit, but I kind of want to try and build myself a building, okay? This stuff is complicated, but you can make really cool, like, entrances for your, uh, for your rides like this. You put, like, entrances on each side, and then you put, like, a building in the middle, and maybe, maybe it'll look good, you know? Uh, we got a castle passage right here. It's like this kind of stuff you could uh, you could look off for um, for inspiration, I guess. 
because you could put something like that there, but it would need to be adjusted so that you can, you know, walk in and out of it, obviously. But this would be kind of cool. Maybe I could place this and then adjust it afterwards. I don't really expect that to work very well, but there, I've placed it. Look at that, there's a castle entrance. You're just gonna have to walk through the castle to get out again. Sorry. All right, you know what? Fine, I'll build my own. Let's give it a go. Where is the archway? I guess that's gonna be in walls. No, no, doors. Okay, so it's really tricky to build buildings next to your rides, guys, but I do wanna try and do it, so I'm just waiting till it's daytime so I can see what I'm doing. There's a bunch of people throwing up down there. Gonna have to fix that problem, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the game now, okay? I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna put it back when I'm ready. All right, I just need to uh, have an entrance and an exit. I'm gonna try and build a little castle type thing, maybe with a couple towers on it, and then, uh, or it might just be a wall. It might just be a castle wall, and you go through the castle wall, you're on the inside, and then you have a little queue line. I just thought that'd be kind of cool to add some more scenery to the park, so let's try and do that. All right, so far so good, guys. I found out how to make octagonal walls. That's such a weird word, octagonal. Octagonal? Neither of those sound very good. Point is, I made those walls. I'm gonna put some trim on the top, and I think I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? It should bring up the scenery at the very least, so people walk over and be like, hey, this is a nice scenery for my ride. Hooray, I like that. It is kind of nice when you don't just have, you know, other people to stare at when you're getting on a ride. Things like castles make make the place look a bit more exciting. Okay, I'm gonna put the um, put the exit out the back. You're gonna have to walk along the castle, go inside to get back out, just because I want more space for this, okay? I'm trying to build myself a damn queue in here, but I don't even know how that's gonna work. There's not a whole lot of space. Unless we made the exit go around the building completely, guys. We could do that. The entrance is what really matters. The exit, it's just like, you're done the ride, now fuck off, so <laughs> let's do that. I know that most YouTubers don't really mess around too much with making their park look nice, and that's cool, guys, but I kinda wanna, so I hope that you can accept that, and uh, I hope you don't mind watching me try and uh, make the park at least a little bit enjoyable to look at. What, the, what else do I even have here, man? There's all kinds of parts. This is the one, right? Yeah, I want some more of that. That's all we need for a castle. All right, I'm kind of tempted to put another princess here as well, guys. It's kind of fun having the princess trapped somewhere. We could put like a, you know, a top to this and let her walk around. I'm pretty sure you can put like, um, you could put little, little towers on here as well if you wanted. You could build a tower up here. I don't know how that would look. All right, so obviously guys, I probably should have done this first, but I didn't. I'm gonna build a queue line now, okay? All right, I hope this is good for the bastards. <laughs> it's really weird looking. As I said, probably should have done it at first, but it should be enough, okay? It should be enough for them to line up. You don't need to see all the people lined up. That's cool. Look at this, guys. I made myself a castle. Isn't that kind of cool? I know I, d I didn't, like, put all the uh, decorations on there yet. You can put, like, windows and, well, apparently, like, some sort of air conditioning unit and some flowers, all that good stuff. This is good enough for now, one step at a time. You know how it is. Now let's build the, uh, let's build that uh, ride again, whatever the hell it was called. The insanity, there you go. So if I put the insanity right over here now, right over here, insanity, what are you doing, insanity? Uh, if we put it right there, we should be able to put our entrance right here. So place an entrance, and look at that, it actually connects. Oh, so now as you can see, the castle now functions as a way to get on the ride, a way to queue up without having to be out in the open. You can look at the castle inside if it looked good, which it doesn't, but you could do that if you wanted. Uh, add entrance to queue. It says it's already done, but it's not really done. I tried to get rid of it and I couldn't get rid of it. Why? Why not? Um, so, well, whatever. I don't care. I'm just gonna go ahead and put an exit on, okay? Right over here. And then we'll go ahead and put some road there so people can exit the ride, okay? That sound fair? All right, so there you go. Now we have the insanity right over here. It doesn't look very good though, does it? It looks like it could be lined up a little bit better. Huh, well then, I'm gonna say to hell with it for now because I spent a lot of time making this castle over here and that's good enough for me. So, I just need to fix this ticket booth. Hello, I don't know if this ride is even gonna work now because of that. I'm gonna turn it on and we'll see, okay? Speed things up. We'll see what people do. Get on the damn ride, people! Get on the da- Hey, come back! All these people talk about how they want to go on Insanity, but nobody's actually going on the Insanity. If 92% of the people say they want to go on Insanity 3, maybe they should freaking go on Insanity 3. Hey, guys! How you doing? Yeah, that's Insanity 3 right over there. You better not be thinking it. If you're thinking, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, no, not thinking it. Burp, pardon me. Ah, oh, the queue is full. Yikes, that ride is scary. Okay, you're all a bunch of bitches. Whatever. 
I don't even care. I'm gonna find a way to delete this thing though. Mark my words. Okay, I did it. They're going on the ride now. Let's speed this up. I want to see tons of people going on Insanity 3, okay? One more thing I would like to do if possible, guys. I would like to put a little bit of a castle decoration here. Some, like, scenery inside. I just want to put, like, castle flooring in here so that it's not what you're seeing right now, which is not castle flooring, it's grass. Grass doesn't belong inside a castle. Never mind, apparently guys, I can't actually put flooring in the building because it's like covering up the queue line, it looks really stupid, yada yada yada, but I had to pause right here because I just need to appreciate the fact that this ride is already full. Okay, look at this. Look at all the people on this ride. Do you see any empty seats? Because I certainly don't, and you better not see any, okay? Because there's not allowed to be any empty seats on this damn ride. What is that over here? Just empty seats! Probably because nobody wanted to sit next to Elmer Jensen. I've been to better theme parks. There's not much scenery here. He's a freaking snob, man. Nobody likes a snob. Go to hell, Elmer Jensen. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end this video here. I know this wasn't a most eventful video, but I did spend a lot of time working on the park. I fixed up the roller coaster a little bit. I put in a new ride. I put a little, you know, uh, castle around the entrance to that ride. And I took some of your suggestions as well. I do read the comments, guys. I really like feedback because obviously I don't know everything about this game. So it's really helpful to see some su suggestions and things like that. So if you see anything in the comments that, uh, that you agree with, give it a thumbs up. Okay, it's nice to know what kind of stuff you guys agree on so that I can kind of shape the series around what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you next time. Goodbye.